Esports Stories presents the Shanghai Shit Show featuring James is an Ass, a short story. In November 2015, Valve announced that the second of the four Dota 2 majors will be held in Shanghai, China, from March 2nd to 6th at the Mercedes-Benz Arena. Furthermore, they stated on the official Dota 2 blog. The event will be produced by Perfect World, and the prize pool will be three million dollars. As soon as the announcement was made, the Dota 2 community was already questioning the decision to choose Perfect World as the production company. Perfect World? Guess Dota TV is going to be unwatchable. On the 21st of January 2016, James Too Good Harding was confirmed as the official English panel host. It was definitely one of the most surprising announcements, as he decided to step down after TI4 and had not hosted any Valve event for more than a year. On the very same day, Paul Redeye Shaloner announced on Twitter, "I won't be at the Shanghai Major. It's a shame Perfect World don't want me there. Hopefully, I'll get to do some Dota this year, though." And only a few hours later, Alan Nahas Bester, often regarded as one of the best analysts in the business, stated on Twitter. I won't be at Shanghai either. Understandable, but still very disappointed. These decisions got a lot of disapproving reactions over the social media, and Eternal Envy expressed his opinion about it on Twitter. DAC was a terribly ran tournament last year. I hope this major won't be as bad as the last one. Seems like they are already being extremely cheap. So even before the tournament started. There was a lot of negativity spread through both the community and the players who would attend the tournament. On the 25th of February 2016, the group stage of the Shanghai Major started, and James Too Good Harding welcomed the viewers with the following words: "Hello, and welcome to the Shanghai Major presented by Perfect World. We are live and police monitored at an undisclosed location." James continued to make unprofessional and shady comments throughout the live stream, like talking about his experiences with the pornographic TV channels in the Chinese hotel. The whole panel was laughing a lot, and a huge part of the community was enjoying the open and casual hosting style of James as well. However, the Valve Corporation, on the other hand, did not enjoy the on-camera appearance at all, and told James to stop with the porn jokes. Ali Reza Razampoosh, an employee of Valve. Heavily criticized the usage of a whiteboard at a three million dollar tournament, and ultimately demanded to fire James because of his inappropriate performance. At this point, Valve did not want to meet Ali Reza's request and gave James a second chance on day two. The second day started, and James continued hosting the event, which was shaped by delays and failures due to the bad internet connection. Towards the end of an extended segment, James said. The only problem with Cupid Red Pandas was that Waga Mama was meant to be captain, and I think at the time he turned into Sing Sing's bottom bitch. The whole panel laughed about the joke, but was also kind of confused as they felt that this joke was kind of inappropriate. After the segment, James went into the production room and met Bruno, former Dota statistician and software engineer at Valve since March 2015, who told him, "James, you are fired." James was confused and just asked him, "What?" Bruno showed James his phone with an email open from Gabe Newell. The exact content of this email remained unknown, but obviously Gabe did not like the hosting style of James and wanted him gone. James asked Bruno for the exact reason why he got fired, and Bruno answered, "Bottom bitch joke, disrespectful towards players." James realized that the dismissal was ultimately decided, and he was really shocked about the whole situation. I was just sad. I was having a blast, and people working with me seemed to be also. Shortly afterwards, James officially stated on Twitter, "Sorry to say, I won't be returning to the Shanghai Major. I was let go after that last segment." As you can imagine, the community was outraged and reacted with the following comments: "Are you kidding me?" What the f? Why? You're kidding, right? No way. James did not look for any conflict. Tried to be calm about the situation and wanted to release a statement about the whole miscommunication within Valve, and also to clear the name of Perfect World, as a lot of people thought it was their fault that James got fired. However, Valve employees pulled James aside and told him to put the whole situation on ice. 
to which he immediately agreed, as he preferred to resolve this issue privately, then shouted out from the rooftops. James went to bed and woke up the next morning to Gabe Newell's Reddit post titled, Update from the Shanghai Major. Two things. First, James. We've had issues with James at previous events. Some Valve people lobbied to bring him back for Shanghai, feeling that he deserved another chance. That was a mistake. James is an ass, and we won't be working with him again. Second, as long as we're firing people, we're also firing the production company that we've been working with on the Shanghai Major. They will be replaced, and we hope to get this turned around before the main event. After James read the post, he was really upset at the whole situation, as he was told hours before to put the whole thing on ice. Instead of following up on the previous agreement, Gabe released a statement on Reddit, and consequently, James' Twitter and every other social media platform exploded. So, James decided to release a statement as well, and wrote a 6,000-word Google document, in which he shared not only the backstory and the run-up to the event, but also the behind-the-scenes of what led to his dismissal. Here are some of the most important facts mentioned in the statement. Bad interactions between Valve and James himself over the years. TI2 and TI3 went extremely well. There were some issues at TI4 due to a change in producer and personal circumstances. James was contacted and told by IceFrog prior to the Shanghai Major, Just be yourself at the desk. People like you for who you are. James was simply doing what he thought Valve wanted him to do. At the very bottom of the statement, James wrote a short conclusion. Gabe, you are not an ass. I'm sorry if you don't like my on-camera hosting, and if that is why you let me go, fine. But understand, I try to entertain the customer. Something you at Valve taught me. Focus on the customer. If you want me off, that's fine. It's your show. But next time, please do it professionally. I think it was the wrong decision to do so either way. I have done nothing here I haven't done before with the Dota 2 community, and they were enjoying it. Maybe you are slightly disconnected from your own community. If you wanted something different, don't hire me or tell me in advance what performance I am meant to give. After James' statement, the chatter more or less dropped, and the community started to use the meme, fired, as a reaction to any personalities cursing or using any mildly suggestive language on live streams. So, the Shanghai Major 2016 was now continued without James, and the event did not get any better from a production quality point of view. The English stream was almost unwatchable, as it was mostly offline or it had huge sound problems. During the group stage, teams had to share rooms and could consequently not communicate like they used to. During an interview with Mushi, the viewers heard a Chinese guy screaming on top of his lungs in the background. I don't want any more problems, Ling Zin. You hear me? What the viewers could not hear was what Mushi had to say, as his microphone was either muted or the volume set to minimum. The Twitch chat went crazy, and the woot face was spammed across the chat for the duration of the entire interview. Another story worth mentioning happened on day three of the group stage when evil geniuses faced complexity gaming. In game three, at minute 33, the production team displayed an overlay which showed that EG won the game. However, the game was still in progress, and Andy Draskill Styles, who casted the game, laughed and simply reacted with, Welcome to the Shanghai Major. The production value continued in the upper bracket round one, as Alliance faced Team Liquid. In game one, at minute 11, the sound of the English stream completely went crazy, as the viewers could hear machine gun sounds, and the volume of the caster was way too low, resulting in the viewers having difficulties understanding him. On the same day, David L.D. Gorman, CEO of Beyond the Summit, shared the luxurious interior of the Shanghai VIP room with his Twitter followers. The room consisted of a dressing table, seven very comfortable-looking plastic chairs for relaxation, and four bottles of water. Due to huge delays throughout the day, the lower bracket matches had to be played without live audience, as the rules at the Mercedes Arena say that no crowd is allowed after 9.30 p.m. Fans who wanted to support their team for their survival in the tournament were asked to leave the arena. Team Spirit was ready to face Complexity Gaming in an already delayed game, but the match could not start, as the team stated on their Twitter page. Game is delayed. 
The Shanghai major staff has lost Ramsey's keyboard. And if that was not enough, the manager of Complexity Gaming, Caio Bautista, got lost at the venue as he stated on Twitter, The guys that work the elevator just inexplicably left, and the elevator is no longer working. I'm lost, and most of the doors are locked. Everybody was super exhausted and obviously super annoyed by all the problems and poor handling by Perfect World. This week performance continued throughout the event, and even after the event ended, the controversy persisted. The practice rooms of the teams were cleared out at night without telling anything to anybody of the teams. So, the teams woke up to empty rooms and had to locate their gear. Laptops, mice, keyboards, headsets, and even ROTK's car key went missing after the clearout. Ironically enough, the staff managed to lose Ramsey's keyboard a second time. This was the end of the Shanghai Major, or better now known as the Shanghai Shit Show. On the 12th of April, 2016, the president of Perfect World, Yun Fan Zhang, released an apology letter which started with the following words. Dear Dota 2 players and fans, we deeply regret that a series of mistakes caused a multitude of problems at the Shanghai Major. As the organizer of the event, we must take full responsibility. We sincerely apologize for the disappointment and pain that you experienced. Subsequently, the community followed up with an obviously trolling answer. This letter was written from Ramsey's keyboard. This was the full background behind the phrase, the Shanghai shit show, and James is an ass. What do you think about this story? Let us know in the comment section below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. See you next time on Esports Stories.